Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 10 of my main 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. So to begin this episode we're going to be fixing and cleaning up these upper wing supports. The one on the left is the one that was broken in transit, so we'll fix that. So, without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on! That's the upper wing supports done. Now for the outer wing supports, the big thick wooden ones. Let's get those sorted, shall we? Also, I'm going to mark up the part number because I'll forget which is which. There we have those supports done and ready for priming. Now let's get the clamps off the fuselage and see how well it's gone together shall we. Looking pretty good if I say so myself. I just need a tad of glue at the back just to rejoin it back up and we can pop that to one side whilst it dries. Now a couple of dials that need painting, cut them off the sprue, paint them straight up and we can pop the decals on these later. That's the gauges painted and popped to one side to dry. Now to get the ailerons off the sprue, prepped, ready for priming. Here we go! There we have both ailerons ready for priming and in the stand. Next, let's see how the top wing has gone together. We'll get the clamps off and check it out, shall we? Why not? Well, there you go, that's come out pretty well considering how beat up the trailing edges have been. Now, we're going to quickly copy deck the windscreen. We'll pop that to one side and let it dry. Then we're going to crack on with cleaning up the seams on the upper wing. So here we go. Thank you. 
There we go, all done and nicely cleaned up. Next, we're going to do some test fitting of the stitching seam that goes under the aircraft. This means no seam cleanup. Woohoo! All done so we can pop that to one side and allow it to dry. Now we're going to give that nice shiny engine a dirty filthy look. I'm using my homebrew wash of 5050 black brown ink. Here we go. There you go, I'm well happy with that. If you want to see some pictures of the engine, check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram feeds. They're up there. I'll be adding pictures on a regular basis, so check them out. Now, some running repairs on the engine. Nothing serious, just some parts were a bit of a pain to keep stuck. So I used a Dobber Super Glue, all sorted now. There we go, that's done satis. Pop to one side, leave it to dry. Next, we're gonna be gluing the inspection doors to the engine onto the main fuselage. Let's get those done. Inspection doors are now on and then we're going to clean up that seam line on the upper surface of the fuselage. So let's get that cracked shall we? Seam line looking nice and clean and polished there. We'll give it a squirt with primer just to make sure. Now let's clean up around where the tailplane goes for a bit of a test fit shall we? Again looking good happy with that nice fit of the tail but what I just realized was I sanded off the leather surround around the cockpit typical of me hmm how to fix this oh 
I know, just the thing. A bit of thin styrene around the cockpit, sand it to shape, and rivet, rivet the holes in there. Couldn't be easier. Could it? But before I do that, I'm going to put some styrene hinges on the elevator. Then we'll do the cockpit surround. Let's get them done, shall we? Now for the cockpit surround. There we go, we've got the shape just right. Now, for the riveting in the surround of the leather, I'm gonna slightly emphasize them, okay? No, that doesn't mean make them chuffing huge, it means slightly emphasize them. So, let's get on with that, shall we? There we go, that's the riveting done on there. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 10. If you want to see what happens in episode 11, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.